What is up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. So, we have a very, very fun day planned because we're gonna get the 240 running today and we're gonna drive it. And, well, okay, I hope. <laughs> I don't know for sure. So, we think we actually figured out the problem, so let me just pop my hood and then I can show you guys. So, if you guys remember, when I was doing the vacuum line and stuff for the fuel pressure regulator, which is right down here, Turns out that this is actually the wrong one, and it's supposed to be up on here. So, yeah, this was just a dummy mistake by me. So I'm supposed to cap this one, just cap it off, and then put it on this one. So yeah, we're going to do that right now, and then Damien's coming by. He should be on his way pretty soon, and then we will uh, we'll find out, see if we're working. Alright, so first off, I'm just going to cut the zap strap I put on there. Just like that. And I don't know how I'm gonna get to this cap. And I don't know what's holding that cap on. So I'm a little worried about that, but that popped off nice. So there's our vacuum line uh, right here for the fuel pressure regulator and the ECU. Now, let's see if I can get this little cap off of this guy without taking off my intercooler piping. Oh, I got it, sweet, okay. So, just like that, we have the cap, so I'm going to place this, you guys can't see, but I am going to place it on this one, and then I'm going to zap strap that really quick, okay, so we got that on there, so now, we need to take this vacuum line, we're going to have to find a way to run it, I'm just going to grab it out from under this, okay, let's take some brake clean, uh, is there any wiring? Yes. Okay, grab that. And throw it on. Hopefully. Get my hand in there. And we're on. Indeed we are. Okay. So, there we go. <laughs> that was an easy fix. Again, I'm just going to zap strap this really quick. If I can get my hands in there. And there we go. We're fixed. Okay, so the way that I had it set up before, the two ports were mismatched. So the bottom one originally goes to the charcoal canister, and it only sees boost pressure. It doesn't see vacuum. So vacuum is when your car isn't in boost, basically. I don't really know how to explain it. So now this one shows vacuum and boost which means the ECU will be able to read boost and vacuum, not just boost. Um, it should fix our problem. Also, I had to get a new igniter, like I explained, that is here. I'm gonna put that in right now as well. And then, just gotta wait for Damien to get here. I'm just charging my laptop right now, and I'm gonna clean off everything. I'll probably make sure the car starts before he actually gets here, but. So yeah, Damien knows a lot more about this stuff, so I'm just gonna wait on him, basically. Clean up the interior a bit. That is our next project probably for the next video will be uh, getting the interior cleaned up and fixing my boost gauge. So yeah, I am just going to uh, install the igniter chip right now because that is a necessity obviously. And then we'll, uh, yeah, just wait on Damien now. All right, we'll see you in a few minutes. All right, you guys, so after a another day of uh, very little progress, um, we I didn't really film because it was kind of just the same thing over and over again, but we figured out the problem. So my old igniter did actually blow. So if you look on the igniter, right here you can see three wires coming out. Well, right in here under the, I don't know how you explain it, but it's basically like waterproofing. So right there is supposed to be another wire coming out, but uh, it actually burnt, which means we were actually in the right to switch the igniter. So uh, we're all good there. Um, we have the new, I got a new igniter. It's an ISR replacement one. Hopefully it's okay for a while, but we'll see. Um, now, another issue we are having is injector number one in cylinder number one isn't firing. We are getting no fuel. So we pulled the spark plugs and we noticed that the first one like had no moisture on it. It didn't look burnt at all or anything like that. Um, it actually looked really white and lean. So that would make sense as to why the car has been surging and misfiring basically. So what I'm gonna do right now is switch the injector from cylinder one to cylinder two and cylinder two to cylinder one. 
and then see if our misfire continues and see if it traces or sorry see if it follows the injector or if we have a harness issue or something like that or a wiring issue I'm hoping it's just as simple as an injector um, at the time of recording this video Nissan Fest is a week away so I really 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 need to uh, get this done and get it running so that we can drive it down I want to break it in before we drive down there too but uh, if we don't get a chance to do that then that's kind of gonna suck so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now probably just set you guys up and talk you through what I'm doing when I do it so we're just gonna use a nice big screwdriver for this make sure we don't strip these screws because I don't know if you can buy them well I mean you can buy screws but you know what I mean you probably don't know what I mean <sighs> pop the cap off now we're gonna pop cylinder 2 out yeah. Oh, there we go. That wasn't bad. Okay, now, trying to get these out may be an issue. Oh, that was hurt. Hold on. I don't want to grab it too tight because we don't want to damage it. Any? Well, this one's broken anyways, but. So there's fuel in there. Oh, well, obviously there's fuel in there. It has to get in there somehow. Okay, so the O-ring on this is fine. That was another concern, but we lubed it up pretty good before we threw them in. So that looks like it's okay. So what I'm going to do, pop this guy down here. I'm just going to pull this guy out the same way we just did that one. So I guess this is probably like the easiest way to pull injectors. Just make sure that the vice grip Oh, it doesn't do that, basically. I dented my fender again. So yeah, the two cylinders look the exact same, so I'm not 100% sure why, or sorry, <laughs> the two injectors look the same, so I'm not too sure why they wouldn't be, like there's no O-ring issue is what I'm trying to basically say. Okay, I forgot to hit record, but um, I put the dead one or possibly dead one right here and then this is the one that came out of cylinder two so again I didn't show you guys or I haven't showed you guys technically yet no I have so you want to make sure you lube this up really good because uh, if you don't it's not going to slide into place properly and you also want to lube the lower o-ring that's right there I know it's kind of blurry but it's there I promise okay and then when you're putting the injector in I just explained this but of course didn't hit record so when you put it in, you obviously just put it in, in its orientation. You just want to push it in by hand, like that. It should click into place nicely. So that should be good now. And then we're going to throw these caps back on, because I believe they act as a ground, if I'm not wrong. Kind of looks like they do, but you don't really know. I'm just going to pop that in like that. Good and bueno. And this one, same thing. That's good. Make sure they're nice and tight. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug the injectors back in. Okay, so now that we have the injectors plugged in, remember this came from cylinder one and this injector came from cylinder two. So the misfire we're having is because this injector wasn't firing. So by moving this to cylinder two, if we unplug this injector or unplug the coil pack while the car's running and we don't notice a change if it doesn't drop in idle, then we'll know that it's the injector. If we pull this one and it doesn't change idle, we know it's something wrong with this harness, if that kind of makes sense, or something else. And then Damien's gonna have to come over and help me figure that out. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and start the car right now and then we will see. Prime. Here we go, time to make the neighbors mad. Three, two, one. Okay, car won't start now. All right, now 
out. Let's see if the card starts. Nope. Okay. Well, I'm going to figure out why that's not starting now. Um, most likely the injector, but hard to say. So, I'm going to probably give Damien a text and see what's going on. Hopefully this video doesn't go until tomorrow, too. I just realized that I never put my igniter chip back in the car, so now it should start. That makes sense as to why it wasn't, so let's see. Okay, so obviously uh, you can hear me a lot better now. <laughs> so um, if, d wait, was I even filming me pulling that? Or was I filming myself? I think I was filming myself. Okay, so <laughs> here the moment, oops. So what I did, okay, so the car, once it warmed up a bit, it started to misfire a bit and uh, pop and bang. So I pulled this because this is the original ejector from cylinder one. And then the misfire didn't change, so it means it was still running on three cylinders, even though I unplugged this. To double check, I then went over to this injector, unplugged this, and then you heard it, it sort of got worse, which means it started running on two cylinders, because then we had two cylinders down instead of running on three. So that means my 5.0 injector is no bueno. So I think I have an idea of what I'm gonna do. Obviously I'm gonna try and get a replacement injector um, and email 5.0 and let them know like, hey, one of my injectors isn't working, I don't know why. Um, but for now, what I think I might do, I sold my stock injectors to a buddy of mine and he isn't using them in his car right now, I don't think, so I'm gonna text him, ask him. We can do a base tune on the stock injectors, make it drivable, break it in, get it to Nissan Fest, and then once we're ready for dyno and everything, hopefully I'll have another 750cc injector by then, because the stock ones are only 370s, so I can't make a lot of power out of them, but I could make enough, but I also did sell them to my friend, so they're his, if he needs them, he needs to take them. But yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and text him, and then uh, we'll see, uh, see what happens. Okay, so just talk to Conlon. Um, he's my buddy who has the extra injectors. Unfortunately, he isn't going to be able to uh, pull an injector or the injectors for me, sorry, all four of them until uh, tomorrow. So I'm going to end the video here. Uh, next video will be hopefully finally fixing the tune and everything. Hard to say though, I can't guarantee anything. As per usual, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share it. Um, <laughs> and thank you for liking, or thank you for liking, subscribing, and I messed that one up. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.